back with Media Matters. Brand Assay has done wonders marketing South Africa to the world with a range of emotive television adverts. From I'm an African to the more recent Disky Dance, their commercials have featured a host of prominent politicians and celebrities all doing their bit to market South Africa as an international destination to the world. Great adverts are just one way that the IMC hope to attract foreign investment to our shores in an effort to secure the sustained growth of our economy. It's a full-time job for an organization whose trustees include the Office of the Presidency, the Department of Trade and Industry, and South African Tourism. Now that the World Cup has come and gone, the marketing of South Africa hasn't stopped. An 18% growth in tourism since the end of the tournament has galvanized the IMC to step up its work and move into an even higher gear. To explain the selling of South Africa, I'm joined in studio by CEO of Brand SA, Mila Matola, and of course, the resident panelist, Gruben Jabale. What is the core function of Brand South Africa? Well, Brand South Africa, Fusi, or the International Marketing Council, as we call it, uh, is really there to promote, profile, and position South Africa as a destination that's uh, viable for investment, for trade, for business, as well as tourism. Mm. Okay, very tricky, I would imagine, to sell a country, especially one with like 11 official languages and so many. How do you guys do it? How we do it is really to focus on uh, building the equity internally and also then being able to communicate what this brand stands for. It's important that, uh, you know, as a service brand, you have to build it from the inside out. So we have to focus on, for instance, building equity internally, mobilizing South Africans and ensuring that South Africans themselves are brand ambassadors. And then secondly, you need to focus on the international market in terms of how then the international market perceives us. And, 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 and Groovin, from your point of view, what are those tangible, sellable things that make this country easy to sell? I think the, the, the uh, tangible things is like uh, the, the most important icon, and we normally say that from a communication point of view, is the flag. Uh, the flag is a symbol of uniting uh, this particular country and ensuring that and when we can able to differentiate ourselves. We've got the most dynamic people. Um, the moment you come and experience the warmth, the culture of the people of South Africa, um, that we can be particularly 100% assured that you will come back. Uh, Millet, what was the perception of our country pre the World Cup? And how did that influence what we've seen now post the World Cup campaign? Well, if you uh, remember, obviously, just before the World Cup, there were stories about uh, how, South how unsafe South Africa is and how unsuccessful the World Cup will be and uh, how people needed to take you know, precautions that you wouldn't take in any other part of the world. And what all those things were saying is, this is not a country to visit, this is an unsafe place, but also that these this country is not capable of staging such an event. And our external facing activities in terms of uh, really branding South Africa were really aimed at those kinds of conversations and changing the narrative about South Africa and saying, that's not what South Africa stands for. Give us a picture of what, what kind of investment was made to make sure that we would have the successful campaign going into the World Cup. And are we seeing any returns? Well, firstly, we've made uh, quite a significant investment as a country into the event itself. But if you think about it, the investment that's been made is investment that's going to really sustain future economic growth. So it's not uh, investment that was time bound, bound to the event itself. Uh, whether it's in rail, it's in transportation infrastructure, it's in all other infrastructure that we put it's infra on the ground, that will be utilized for growing the economy. But if you look at uh, the almost direct impact of the event and how it shifted perceptions, whether it's the, in the investor community, for instance, you will have, uh, you might be aware that uh, during the uh, event itself, there was a significant increase out of the USA, out of the UK, in uh, measures and acquisitions in South Africa. Oh yes. Now that in itself shows that the spotlight being on South Africa does trigger something amongst the investor community. And uh, subsequent to that, I suppose it's no, you know, uh, stroke of luck that we would have seen now the interest in HSBC in South Africa. You would have seen the Japanese as well interested in, uh, in you know, making acquisitions in South Africa, and more recently also uh, Walmart interest in uh, Massmart. So uh, while we are not saying these are the direct spin-offs the, of, of the world. Cup, we believe that there is a level of correlation because if a country's reputation is positive and it's seen positively, even from an investment point of view, people would then look at the country differently. You've had favor in, 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 the, in Asia. Obviously, we joined you recently when you were at the World Expo in Shanghai. Tell us about that campaign and what came of it. 
Well, I think uh, that's uh, another one of those uh, uh, platforms where we were able to position South Africa very positively in the uh, Chinese market. I mean, there's huge interest in uh, China from South Africa point of view, but also on the continent in terms of trade and investment. And uh, the Shanghai Expo actually gave South Africa the opportunity to showcase what the country is about. Is about. Now, the, the amount of awareness that you create th through that, uh, it's, it's difficult to quantify, but it's massive if you think about it. Now, looking at, um, just to include closing, um, what do you say is the future of Brand South Africa going forward? I think from a global point of view, the Brand South Africa is well positioned to ensure that it attracts foreign direct investment and into this particular uh, country, uh, but using it as a gateway to Africa. From a South African perspective, is to ensure that we sustain what we have achieved uh, during the World Cup in flying the South African flag. Well, we've come a long way from South Africa, a land full of possibilities, to South Africa. It is possible. Thanks, gentlemen, for contextualizing what it is to sell South Africa. Now it's time for us to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to look at other successful campaigns that have been flying the South African flag very high. See you soon.